Hello, here's my reloading setup at home. It's an RCBS Rock Trucker Press, a single stage. That's the thing on the bottom here. And on the top is the piggyback attachment. I think it's an actually a piggyback two. They went up to piggyback fours. They're discontinued now, but mine's still chugging right along. Uh, to help it out and to fix a few things, I 3D printed several parts that I thought I would share in case anybody else could benefit from that. We'll start at the very bottom. The very bottom where the uh, nut is that attaches the arm, uh, it got lost. And of course I could have bought a metal nut, but I 3D printed a green one and it works just fine. Fits really snug. Going up over here, I've attached this tray, which stays right on the tray. Uh, the Acrobin, that is, where I can put my brass so then I have to move very little to uh, reload. Uh, right there, that's holding 50 cases of 9mm, and it can hold up to 100. If you wanted more than that, you just have to do more than one batch. <clears throat> On the other side, a little bit harder to see. Uh, on the back there, clamped onto it, is another tray. And it's actually supported by a little bracket on the bottom there, and it holds the bullets. So when I go to load them, I don't have very far to move to load them. And that can hold quite a bit. That's pretty sturdy. I thought it wouldn't be because it sticks out so far, but it's very sturdy. Uh, all of these were printed with PETG filament, which is pretty strong. Uh, going up a little bit further, I've got this strange sort of bracket here, which snaps right on, and it's attached to an LED light. So you can have a little bit more illumination in your area. And there's a little touch button here. Uh, there are commercial versions of this, but this is actually for a sewing machine. It costs like eight bucks. And the commercial versions for reloaders cost a lot more. Over to the side here, this little part here is just a little pin that I printed so that when I put it in there, the powder measure is automatically for sure activated. Sometimes it wiggles around a little bit and uh, I worry about getting a squib load. And when I definitely know that I want to throw powder, I put that in there, and so the uh, the rod has no choice but to activate the powder measure. A little further up here, sorry if I'm out of focus, here's a little plastic band that I printed that says what powder I have at the time in here. So if I leave the powder in over a span of a couple of days, I don't forget or get anything mixed up, and I've got several different powders of those, so I can use whatever common ones that I uh, that I load. I guess that's about it. Um, that's my piggyback and rock chucker combo, all dressed up. Um, hope you liked it. If you have any questions, let me know.